Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Blur here. And yeah, the other day I got a very cool package from Manipulator. And he included two challenge locks from Freediver72 in there. And one of them I picked already in, in the video on the unboxing. And this is the second one called Funky Monkey. And this seems to be his 33rd challenge lock. So quite amazing that he produced so many. So I'm very curious to get this open. So let's get a vice in here. And after seeing the amazing pin work in the other challenge lock, I'm hoping to find something similar in here. So let's, yeah, I don't know which way to tension. I'm using a flat pry bar here, SP14, which Works rather good. And favorite profile, number seven hook in 0 0.4 millimeters. And yeah, let's still reset everything like this. Okay, does not want to come out quickly. No. Okay, let's see. So, okay, three is binding, it seems. Four. Oh no, six actually, I think. Is it actually a six pin lock? One, two, three, four, five. No, it should be five pins. So that was five, not six. I didn't set the focus, sorry. Now we're good. Okay, that was three. Two, and we're in a deep false set. One's binding. Okay, four is binding. Count rotation. Okay, three is binding now. Just reset on three. Good click. Another click on one. Okay, just touched six, uh, five, and we're open. So very cool. Fun to pick. Get the wires out of here. Get a pinning tray in. And yeah, it's one of these very nice locks which just need to be pushed in on the back side. So just have to push in this detent pin. And then you can turn the tailpiece. Actually, I have the key so I can lock it back up. It makes life a bit easier. And yeah. And now the pin jumped out. And yeah, just collect it. There's a spring in here, just dump it so you don't lose it. Because it will 
jump out when you least expect it. Okay, perfect. Now let's turn that a bit. Should get a shim. Okay. Follow on. Very nice so far. Now I can see threading right away. We will have a closer look on the core once the keepins are out. Let's start with the drivers first. Whoa. I mean, the, the pin work is outstanding. Look at that. Super nice. Pin two. Whoa. Very cool. It's a key pin which was in like that, so it was in like that. That makes picking it a bit easier. Probably it should go in the other way around. Pin three. Very nice serrated pin. Let's check from the back. Pin five. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice serrated T-pin. And I think I touched that in the end to get the open. These T-pins always lead to somewhat surprise open because you just touch a pin, no counter rotation, and the lock opens. And here in four, looks like a maybe commercial spool. Maybe, I don't know. So, any mods to the housing? No, it does not look like it. All smooth. But there are plenty in the core. Like the threading in here. Let's have a look. Do they go in? Okay, this is how they sit, so very nice here, look at this number 5 pin, really cool the serrations. This one a bit active, not too dramatic, and this one very nice. And the first, yeah, let's put this one aside for a moment, and then here a nice T pin in, in chamber 1, and this one in chamber 2. I guess it is not supposed to be in like this, but it should be in like this. So this makes picking much harder. I will do it for fun um, on my own time again. So let's grab the key pins. I see torpedo pins here and there. Let's have a look at them closer. Just in a second. Nice serrations in one. Okay, let me arrange them for you. Okay, so here are the pins. Very nice work. They almost look like factory made, so good this uh, 
crafting here, but of course they are handmade by Freediver. And all chambers have different springs, so good I took them out. And mm. yeah, nice overset traps and then one, three and four. And yeah, I guess number two should be inverted. But let me know in the comments, Freediver, if you're looking that video. So, yeah, hope you liked this video. I really enjoyed picking this and I will enjoy picking it once again, once I turned the number two pin around. Oh, so thank you very much for watching if you're still here and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.